Good evening and welcome to our time of prayer. Wherever you are this evening, you are welcome here and I would encourage you to light a candle as a sign of hope and a reminder that Jesus is the light of the world. We believe that his light shines in the darkness and the darkness cannot put it out. We come together this evening conscious of all that is unfolding between Russia and the Ukraine. This is an opportunity for us to pray, to ask God for his help in the midst of this crisis, this tragedy, this war. I know many of us have been heartbroken and shocked by what we have witnessed this week and perhaps we feel helpless in the face of it, yet we know that God encourages us in these situations to turn to him and to ask him for his help. The prayer that I'm going to use this evening has been created by the Scottish Church Leaders Forum. So it's an ecumenical prayer and it's good for us to be able to join with our brothers and sisters in Christ right the way across Scotland. It's in response to the invasion and we stand in solidarity with all those who face the perils of war and the fear that ensues when the bonds of peace are broken. There is a response within the prayer when you hear Lord in your mercy. I would invite you to return with the words, hear our prayer. Let us come to the living God now and ask for his help. Living God, creator and giver of life to all people, we ask that you would hear our prayer for peace among the nations and for ending of conflict in Ukraine. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Living God, who shall judge between the nations, we ask that you would lead the nations in the paths of peace and that the dividing wall of hostility would be broken down. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Living God, who has inspired faith across the ages, Grant peace in the midst of war and bring harmony to the Commonwealth of Nations. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Living God, who gave his only Son that we might have life, we ask that you would pour out your Holy Spirit and inspire in us hope that peace will be renewed. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray all these prayers in the name of Jesus, who taught us when we pray to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. I would encourage you in the coming days to continue to pray for the situation. Pete Gregg from 24-7 Prayer encourages us to pray for the three Ps, to pray for the people who are afflicted, to pray for those who are experiencing loss and grief, those who are going through a trauma at this time, to pray for the pastors and priests, so thinking about the church leaders within the Ukraine and in Russia, uh, to pray for them as they try to respond to the situation, as they cry out for justice and for peace, and as they seek to care for those affected. And to pray for politicians and peacemakers, to pray for those who are seeking to bring about reconciliation and we think perhaps also about the aid agencies that are already looking to provide for the humanitarian crisis which is unfolding. We trust that the Lord leans in, bends down and listens to our prayers and that he responds with faithfulness to him. On Wednesday it's Ash Wednesday and Pope Francis has encouraging us to take some time to pray and fast on that day and so look out on our Facebook page for um, a reflection and a time of prayer which will be posted on midday then. May you know God's blessing through this night and into the day to come 
And may we continue to hold all of our brothers and sisters in Christ, those impacted in particular in conflict situations. May we hold them before the Lord in prayer in the days to come.